<laughs> what, what happened? Well, I think government officials are after Bloob. Yeah, because they're snooping around the neighborhoods. I think they might be after his UFO. Why would you say that? Why would FBI agents be at my door? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Seriously? I thought you humans were a lot smarter than this guy. Hey, watch it, Blue. Well, we are. Please don't let Jarrett represent the whole human race. He just represents the minority of the not-so-smart guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just joking. Please don't hurt me. Look, why don't uh, me and Derek start to go clean up that pool while you try to figure out what you're going to do with Blue? Wait, why did I got to help you clean up the pool? Well, ever since you thought I was the minority of the not-so-smart guys. Come okay, on. got it. <laughs> well, now what, Brody? I don't know. I have to figure out what to do with you. Well, look, if it's too much of a hassle, I'll just go. No, you don't have to go. You can stay here with me. It's just, I don't know what I'm going to tell my parents. I mean, okay. Hey, Mom and Dad, I got this alien named Bloop staying with us now. Is it all right? Oh, and by the way, there's a UFO in the pool. Just letting you guys know. Oh, one more thing. The FBI, they're kind of after us right now, so let's lay low a little bit. See what I mean? Plus, it's like, I don't know where I'm going to put you. I mean, my parents, they got mad at me for having a hamster who pooped a lot. You know? And you're a lot bigger than a hamster. Oh yeah, which reminds me, um, do you go number two a lot? Um, I have no idea what you mean by, do I have to go number two? You, you, don't, you don't know what that means, number two? Well, no. I mean, I know it comes after one. Well, um, yeah, okay, so, when we were little kids, they used to tell us number one meant you go twinkle, and number two, it means you, uh, you go to the, uh, you know? Well, A, what the heck is a twinkle? And B, what the heck do you mean by... Okay, um, a twinkle is, um, when you... I don't know how to explain this, um, when you... Do you mean, do I have to go to the bathroom? Like, urinate or take a dump? Yes, um, exactly. Why did you uh, put me through all that stress? I didn't make you go through anything. I just sat here and let you talk. I just thought it was fun to see you try to explain the meaning of going to the bathroom. Quick, <laughs> that's a good one. It's great. I'm glad you find this amusing. But I have to try to figure out how I'm going to maintenance you so I can keep you. Ah, uh, how sweet. You see, that's why I want to stay with you. Because you're cool. A thoughtful guy. First off, I don't need to go to the bathroom at all. We're not made the same way like you humans are, so you don't have to worry about any of Blue's poop. <laughs> that sounded funny. Blue's poop. <laughs> and second, I don't need to take any showers, because we don't start to smell after a while like you humans do. So there goes your worries about any of that. And just so you know, the best part of how we're made up we are able to blend in perfectly in your human environment. Really? Like how? We look so much of like what you humans call a puppet doll or a toy. All I got to do is play dead. Like this. <laughs> Just like that. I could sit here with you and your parents or people around and not make a sound and just act like I'm a puppet doll. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, that's, that's pretty ingenious. I think this actually might work. And if worst case scenario, I could disappear when I hold my breath. Wait, you have to hold your breath to disappear? Um, yeah. Hey, don't ask me why that's for us. Because that's like me asking you humans, why do you guys have to close your eyes when you go to sleep? Wait, wait. You don't have to close your eyes? I mean, your eye to, to sleep? That's the beauty. We don't have to go and close our eye to rest or sleep, like you humans do. We can stay up all day, and as in the words of your popular Eddie Earthling singer, Lionel Richie says, all night long. Oh boy. 
This is going to be a really crazy adventure with you. <laughs> but back to what I was saying about me uh, disappearing. I could disappear on two reasons. One, if I get really, really scared. And two, <laughs> if I hold my breath. Hold your breath, okay. Well, how long could you hold your breath for? <clears throat> Not that long. Like four and a half days. <laughs> Not that long. <laughs> yeah. I know some buddies that can hold their breath for like 10 days. Wow. Um, okay, well, now that you just told me that you can hold your breath to disappear, I'm kind of worried. What if you just go and hold your breath because you're mad at me and I can never find you? Nah, I wouldn't do that to you. If I didn't like you anymore, I'd just leave you. Not waste my time holding my breath. Wow. Uh, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> well, I would. Well, I'll stay somewhere where someone is mad at me. Okay, um, well, that's something you could probably learn from us humans is that if we get mad at one another, we don't just hold on to it. We forgive and most likely forget. I mean, if we didn't, we probably wouldn't have any friends. Wow, you see? This is exactly why we come down here on your planet to watch you guys. Because you humans have so many fascinating ways to deal with each other. That there is so much information to observe from and to practice on our planet. That is why we continue to come back and forth and visit your planet. Hey Brody, check this out. Check this out. Oh, wow. A rolled up piece of aluminum. It's nice. Yikes! I totally forgot. Forgot what? I totally forgot that my particular model ship has that advanced protective feature set on. Advanced protective feature? Yeah, if it gets into contact with water for too long, a period of time, it triggers that material on our ship it's made out of to shrivel and shrink into a ball. Why is that? Um, to better to disguise itself or to be less noticeable to others, such as your so-called government officials that are always trying to harass us. <laughs> That's pretty stealthy of you guys. Because when I first saw your ship at the bottom of the pool, the sucker was pretty big. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it rolled up into a little bowl. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you get it back to its full-grown ship again? Um, good question. I seriously don't know. I never had gotten it that wet before. For that long period of time. Normally, we like to stay in hot climbing areas like Arizona or Nevada. You mean like Las Vegas type areas? Yep. You know what? I always wondered why UFOs always showed up in like Vegas and Arizona <laughs> or like desert areas like that. Is it so to keep your ship's materials really hot so it doesn't shrivel up like this? Um, no. We just like going to Vegas. <laughs> Don't you humans too? That place is pretty awesome. There's a lot of bright lights and things. So wait, how do you get it back to full grown size again? I seriously don't know. Again, never happened to me before. Well, looks like I'll be staying with you a lot longer than I expected. Oh boy. Let the adventures begin.